everyone, my name is Marissa and welcome back to El Canada's YouTube channel. Today we are doing a tag. The editors and I came up with some questions and they all kind of revolve around the best beauty looks ever. So let's get started. First question, probably one of the most obvious, is who's your most favorite makeup artist? And for me, there's no question about it, it's Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love everything about her. She's fabulous, the makeup she does is fabulous, it's beautiful, she knows about history and she brings it and reinterprets it into contemporary makeup. Um, she's a celebrity makeup artist to the stars, I absolutely love her beauty brand. So many good products in that brand and she thinks everybody's beautiful, which is amazing. The next question is, what is your favorite makeup look by them? And for me, it's either, well, it's hard to say with Charlotte because she does a whole variety of looks for contemporary looks. I love the wedding look that she did on Amal Clooney and it's just beautiful, beautiful rose buddy lips and gilded eyeshadow, really soft and pretty and that's what I imagine for a wedding look. And then on the other end of the spectrum, this cool it girl vibe, rock chick look that she did um, and made most famous on Kate Moss, which is a really thick, beautiful winged eyeliner, black with a nude lip and super sculpted cheekbones. What are my favorite makeup tips I learned from Charlotte? I already said one of them, which is extending the eyeliner. It elongates the eye and makes them look so beautiful. And then contouring the cheekbones. She says to follow the hollow, which is right under the cheekbones, using a little bit of powder on the lips to mattify any lipstick. I could really go on. She really demonstrates a lot of the techniques that she uses in her YouTube videos, which I think is really helpful for people like you and I who watch YouTube videos to learn about makeup. Next question is, what is your favorite runway look? And I'm wearing a recreation of it right now. It's the look that Mary Greenwell did for Tom Ford in fall, winter 2015. The next question is, what is your favorite red carpet makeup look? And for me, this is hard. There are so many people that I love. I think that the Met Ball has some of the best out there avant-garde beauty looks. I love what Rooney Mara had on, which was really thick eyebrows, pale skin, really dark purplish lips, and basically nothing else. I thought that that was really cool and it fit the entire theme so perfectly. Um, I also love anything that Rosie Huntington Whiteley does on the red carpet. It's just so beautiful and so pretty. I love Keira Knightley's makeup. It's effortless and chic. She always has this sort of smoky eye going on, some hollowed up cheekbones, and a nude lip. It's so pretty. I love any type of look where it's very consistent and iconic. Speaking of iconic looks, my favorite makeup on any model or celebrity in general is Lana Del Rey. Her makeup just takes me to a different place. It takes me to a different time, 1960s, 1950s. Her makeup is also ever evolving. Recently she's been evoking more 1970s, sometimes a little bit of 1990s as well. She always has something to do with a really beautiful liner, whether it's thick, smudgy, smoky, single line, double wing, um, and it, it's just absolutely beautiful. I love what she does with her makeup. My personal best beauty look probably has to be what I did Beyonce from the Why Don't You Love Me music video for Halloween. Oh my gosh, I just love that music video. I love the song. It's my favorite music video and my favorite song. She's just crying, sipping on a martini, wearing a beautiful Dolce & Gabbana bodysuit, victory rolls, which are no easy feat to do, and a beautiful 1950s, 1960s winged eye with a little bit of white eyeliner under the wing. It really adds a little bit something extra. And she's just screaming into a phone, why don't you love me at her husband? Just absolutely love it. And um, that's my favorite look. It was before I started anything to do with YouTube or got really interested and really serious about makeup and it was just super fun to me. And I was really proud of myself because victory rolls, not easy to do. Same with that eyeliner and that whole makeup. It's not the easiest to do so I was very proud of myself as well. Definitely a good look for me. The last part of this tag is a beauty challenge and it was to recreate your most favorite makeup look and I created the Mary Greenwell for Tom Ford fall winter 2015 look. I absolutely love this look and I've loved it ever since I first laid eyes on it. There was a close up of Gigi Hadid, love Gigi and I, I was just taken away by it because like I was saying about the Lana Del Rey makeup, that makeup just took me to another place and I love how makeup can complete an entire fashion look. So definitely that was 
probably the reason why I picked this makeup look. Another reason to watch me do this look is because I'm going to be reusing some of the products that the editors have sent me. And these are the products that I have been using ever since they sent them to me, and I've absolutely been loving them, so they really are, for me, the best of the best. So I'm starting with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love how beautiful medium coverage it is. It's radiant, but it's not dewy or overly glowy. It definitely gives you a matte-ish finish, demi-matte finish, and it's very thin and light, feels like skin. So I'm using the Beauty Blender, and I'm just blending that all over my face. I'm going to attempt to recreate model eyebrows, which are thick and bushy and voluminous with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Chocolate. I use this in my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial. I'm just going to brush that through where my eyebrows are sparse, maybe add a little bit extra towards the arch, and then brush with the brow gel in the opposite direction of the hair growth to really push them upwards and give that bushy look. Next, after using a little bit of concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder in Beach, and I'm going to Pat that all over my face with a fluffy brush because this look really is a matte 1970s look. Starting off with the eyes with the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Buff. I've been using this non-stop since I first received it. I absolutely love how it acts as an eyeshadow primer as well as it adds a little bit of color so it gives more dimension to your look immediately. I'm going to take a cream color eyeshadow with the Smith 235 brush and sweep that all over the lid and up towards the brow bone. Then taking a combination between a chocolate eyeshadow and a taupey brown eyeshadow with the Smith 247 brush, which is a classic fluffy blending brush, and blending that all over the lid up into the crease and in the socket. Then I'm taking the same combination of eyeshadows with the Smith 220 brush, which is a very wide flat brush that is great for taking eyeshadow and blending it and making it look really smudgy under the lower lash line. To finish off the smoky part of the look, I'm taking a black-brown eye pencil and running that into the roots and really smudging it into the lashes. Then I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've been loving this mascara for lots of volume and length and running that through the roots of my lashes and wiggling up until the tips. This is actually a technique that Mary Greenwell used as well. She's one of the Tom Ford lipsticks, but I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown lipstick in Nude, which is more of a mauvey brown color, and I'm going to take my finger with the product and tap it into the brow bone and just below the eyebrow, underneath the eye as well, and that's going to give you that late night, a little bit tired, really sexy look. Taking the Urban Decay 8 Hour Powder Blush in Video. This is a blush that I have not been able to put down recently. It's a tiny nude dusty rose color and I blended that with a fluffy blush brush all the way up around my temples. Not where you normally put it, around the cheeks, down here in the elbows of the cheeks, but really high up. And lastly I just took a beauty blender and I patted it along the lips. I think the reason why I love this look so much is that it's not difficult to do per se, but it's about the conception of the look. Mary Greenwell came up with it. It's, it feels almost like modern art in that it's really, it's, it's a feeling and it's a place and it's the concept behind the look that is the most important. I hope you enjoyed this tag because if you did, I really encourage you to answer all of the questions and make your own tag video and let me know by using the hashtag beauty playlist and tagging at El Canada and at Marissa Roy. I'm also tagging some specific bloggers, tagging Mila Victoria, Bianca Harris, Chelsea Walsh, Allegra Shaw, and Melissa Merck. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Until next time, I hope that every day is your best beauty look ever, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.